Hi there, it's Shell, and today I have another junk journal. So I just wanted to show you guys this one. So cute. Has a little pumpkin head that I made. His mouth is a little zipper. <laughs> and so I made him and I glued him down in a piece of fabric. And this cover is a soft cover. And it's about nine by six with a two inch spine. So when I just glued this on to cover up the thread from the binding. And then this is the back. I love this fabric. This is a fabric cover. And I just used some, it's kind of like a stiff bowl material. We make like fabric bowls out of it. And that's what I put in between the cover. So, and I didn't have any black bind, seam binding. So I used navy blue because there is blue in the cover and I thought that went really well. So, let me get this untied here. Oh yeah, this has three signatures and over 130 pages. So, and then on the inside, I just put this fabric and this is the black and orange squares that I have on the front. And then I made a little pocket. So in this pocket, I just took some of my took some of my paper and just made like some more journaling spots. And then I have this one, and this is coffee dyed paper that I just folded into another journaling spot. And I just put that in there like that. And throughout this book is jack-o'-lanterns. So that's why I have the jack-o'-lantern on the front. And on each of the signatures and the middle of the signatures, I have some little beads on a bulb pen. And I just put that through an eyelet. So you have that going all the way down the center. I have some stenciling. Some stenciling there. I just did it in some black, but I tried to do it light enough that you could write over it. I have some tracing paper. And this is a Patty tag. It's a, or Patricia Veramonti's tag. So, let me just show you this one. And I have three of them in this book. And I also have the binder clip that has the washi, and then it has a little charm and a little pearl and then so this one has three little uh, tuck spots but I just put something in the first one because I kind of went overboard and this is really full so you will get some things on the side oh and on the back is some coffee dyed paper so when I just stuck that here Clip, and then I just slide the little charm down. And then here is a tuck spot, something wicked this way comes. And this is a patty tag. And you just open it up, has two little pockets. And I just put some of this paper in here. Some of it has coffee dyed paper. This one's just plain white. So and I have three of these in the book. Sorry about that. <laughs> and this is some um, eco dye paper. I think that turned out really cool. It's kind of got an orange tint to it, so I thought that was really neat. And I have three of the dictionary pages in here. And this one says treat. And I just put a little frame around the ones that I wanted you to focus on. And then here's some coffee dye paper, tracing paper. And this is a window. Um, pocket window envelope and I just made it into a little pocket and then I made this really cute tag and this was inspired by Gail Agostinelli so I put him in here and then I also have a tuck spot on the side I just didn't put anything in there and some parchment paper and then in the middle of the signature we also have the little tab 
And then this is the middle. Some parchment paper, some old paper from an old book, some, what is this called? Some tracing paper, and it kind of has like a little watermark on it. And then I have fa a fabric flip, kind of a collage on the top. This one was really fun to make. Here's the back of the dictionary page, the eco dyed paper, and here is a little bag. And I have a little tag down here, or a little pocket down here. And then I have another one of those little tags. I think these were so fun. It's like they were kind of in a haunted house. And then there is a tuck spot behind the bag. And then here's tracing paper and some more paper with stenciling. And here's the end of the first signature. And here's the second signature. Here's the little charm, the little beads. Here's some more of the eco dye paper. Here's tracing paper, ledger paper. And this one is really long, so there's plenty of um, journaling space. And then I have this little tuck spot. And this tag was inspired by Paula over at Renewed and Crafted for You. I just did a little bit different than she did, but I will link her video below. So what you do is you go ahead, you pull this out, and she created this where it's you have more journaling space. But I just made mine into the shape of a tag, and hers was more rectangular. So I just went ahead and did that. If you guys are interested in a tutorial for this tag, I will certainly do that. But I will, you know, again, put her tutorial at the bottom of the, in the description box. Here's some parchment paper. Here's the second signature, the fabric flip. This is a little bag, so you can put something in there. Some stenciling, parchment paper, the lined paper. Here's another patty tag. And I put some little things in there. <coughs> And then here is Trick on this dictionary page. And coffee dyed paper, tracing paper, and here's the middle of this signature. And then here's tracing paper, coffee dyed paper, the dictionary, the coffee dyed printed paper. Here's another one of those tags inspired by Patricia Veramontes along with the binder clip and the little charm. Coffee dyed paper, stenciling, and then this is the little, the other side of that bag. And then here's some more paper, the other side of the ledger paper and the eco dye paper. And we're on the third signature. So here's the little beads, here's the little tab. I tried not to put a whole lot of lace in here because I thought it could be generic for either male or female, you know, and some people don't really like lace, so just thought I'd open it up to more people. Here is another one of those tags by Patricia Veramontes. We have a tuck spot here, here, and here. And there is coffee dyed paper on the back, and then here is the little charm. And then in this signature, we have pumpkin that has been outlined. And this, dic this dictionary is back from the 1950s. So, you know, it might have more to say about things than some of the newer ones. And here is some of that planner paper. And this is, it's kind of, has green lines across it. And it's coffee stain. Some tracing paper, some coffee dyed paper. Here's a little bag, and you can just put in, there's two tuck spots. I may add some more stuff to the tuck spots, just because I do have like a pile of stuff to the side. But if I don't, then you will have more stuff to put in here if you choose. 
Here is a fabric flip. It's more eco dye paper. I love how that turned out. That's so fun. Here's the middle of the signature with the bulb pin and the little beads. Eco dye paper, parchment paper, coffee dyed paper. That's kind of cool. It looks almost like a moon. More coffee dye paper, tracing paper, here's that planner paper, dictionary paper, and here's another tuck spot with another patty tag. <laughs> I think that turned out so cute. I myself am strange and unusual. That kind of describes me. <laughs> Some more stenciling, and then this is the last. And then I have this pocket on this side. I have this really cute tag that was inspired by Gala Gastinelli. And then I have more paper here that you can take out and journal on. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really fun to make. Uh, I may make more Halloween ones. I haven't decided yet. But I will be moving to fall ones before too long. This one is available right now in my Etsy store, Shell Bears Creations, and again, that link will be below also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and be sure and subscribe to my channel. I have more fun things coming along, and be sure and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.